Welcome to episode two of the Nero Car Engine Project. So in this episode, I'm going to be building a frame that the engine can sit in. I can use the frame to obviously strip the engine, but also start it. Um, I've got lots of this square section steel. I've got a fag packet design. I've got lots of tools. So all I need to do is get cracking. So I've cut up all of these bits of tubing and I've drilled a couple of holes in there. And the way it's going to work is that this um, hole lines up this front mount and this line here, across here corresponds where I'm going to drill another hole in there like that. And what I'm going to do is that these, this cross member is going to sit on two, two feet like this, approximately like, like that. And the engine will sit on there's going to be one on these in each side and these bottom feet are going to be connected with with cross members that come across like this i'm going to have a piece that goes runs all the way along to the front and it's going to be slightly lopsided it's going to stick out further that side because if you remember i've got to build the kickstart on the kickstart on the other side so next step is to drill some more holes and then i can just start welding this thing up and making the frame So I've done some welding and these side brackets have been welded up um, so they're not too bad and um, now I've got to design the, the rest of the the um, cradle for it so this this bar here is going to protrude about six inches out to about there so about there I'd say this gives me enough space on this side to build a, a kickstart mechanism just down here so I'm going to weld this, I'm going to cut this to length, weld this to that, uh, and maybe then weld some cross pieces on. Um, but when I've welded this, that on, I can spin the whole thing around and see how it's looking on the other side. So I welded up the other side, and I've cut these two cross pieces. Now they run underneath and they will be welded to the side, I've not done that yet. And on the other side, um, the, the, the bar that runs the length is lined up with this. On this side, it's slightly spaced out. The reason it's spaced out is I wanted to leave room for some kind of kickstart pivot. Kickstart's going to be here, remember. So I can mount it on this, this sort of rail here. So um, all I've got to do now is weld these two bits to the other end, then weld this bit onto here. And I've drilled these two little holes in here so that when I'm welding these, they don't try and burst and, and blow up, blow out with it because they basically become a sealed chamber. So that'll weld onto there. When they're all, when this is all welded on, then the last thing I'll do is take the whole assembly round to the welding shop, sit it on there, and weld it, uh, tack it in situ with the engine in situ, so that I know that all the, the bolt holes will line up exactly. So let's get cracking. So 
so there you have it here's one frame that i've welded up um nice and solid on there it means i can work on the engine i can take it to pieces and i can ultimately start it as i said before i'm going to be building some kind of kickstart mechanism here it's going to go up and down like that somehow i'm not quite sure how yet but i'm sure i can work it out um and so that's all for now uh, next episode is going to be starting to uh, strip it all down get all these bolts out and see what we're actually playing with so that's all for now